to topic number two. Uh, this I wanted to talk about. Without Brock, it seems like we've been having a uh, mid-car rise. It seems like the Inter- to me, the Intercontinental and the U.S. titles have had more importance than they have uh, ever. Like They feel like they are that secondary uh, uh, thing. Since we are down up to one title, it's only so many people can occupy that space, especially when we only have a champ- champion like once every three months at this point with Brock Lesnar. Have they done a good job? Do we feel like you know those championships mean something again? At least in storyline, uh, Mike. I know you're probably going to disagree with me whether the I- I- IC title feels important when it's been a hot potato. Oh no, I love the IC title gimmick. Um, I I, I just don't. I think the US title and the IC title mean more than they have uh, in years, mm-hmm. like in a very long time. But I don't think it's because our we have an absentee champion. Because we have a representative for our champion every week. I think it's because of who they have in the main event. Because uh, Rollins is still kind of lukewarm. Like as a main heel. Mm-hmm. Because he get, he's with the authority. But he, damn but damn it, he is trying so damn hard. Oh, You he, have to give him a lot he's of credit. Doing the best he's, been, he's, given. he's been carrying shows. Like yes. entire shows, SmackDown and Raw, on him being the heel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, when he eventually becomes the corporate champion, he's going to be great. Mm-hmm. But right now, he's there. He's kind of being kept on the back burner, like just waiting and holding and waiting and holding and waiting and holding. Um, but because people are still so down on Roman Reigns, uh, like I, I forget if I said this on a previous show or on a wrap up or wherever I said it because I do so many of these things. Um, I think we're getting Cena as the U.S. champion. And Daniel Bryan as the IC champion simply because we're getting Roman Reigns as world champion. Like, I, because it's kind of like a palate cleanser. It's like, hey, listen, we know you guys aren't enthused about this, but Cena's going to be holding the mid card belt, so it's going to mean something. Mm-hmm. Daniel Bryan's going to hold the mid card belt, so you know it means something. Like, I, th- I think that's kind of what they're trying to do. It's, yeah, it's kind of an odd switch here. You know, when, about two years ago, we were complaining because the World Heavy, when the titles were still not combined there, the World Heavyweight Championship, we were com- we were complaining because sort of mid card guys were holding this world title. Now we have a guy who's sort of a mid card guy that's going to hold the world title, and arguably main event guys are probably going to have these sort of uh, menial titles. <laughs> it's, it's it's a weird it. It's such a weird flip all of a sudden Mm -hmm. um, with this. But I'm not sure Reigns is going to have a long run with this belt um, because you almost feel like a double turn sort of thing is about to happen here. I'm not sure. I'm probably giving creative a little too much credit with this. But, (laughs) you know, you almost feel like Reigns is going to, you know, they're going to let the crowd turn on Reigns. And have Rollins flip, you know? I, 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 could you see a scenario where that happens, where he cashes in? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You would have you would have to switch face. Brock Lesnar, uh, Paul okay. Heyman, and, and he's not that. a face because he's a face character. He's a face because they hate Roman Reigns so much that whoever beats him is going going to go over. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, uh, Alex, I want to get your opinion, and we'll go to some comments here in the chat as well. Um, yeah, so, sorry, uh, you know, some hangout stuff. Anyways, the, uh, IC and, uh, U.S. titles, uh, and Eamon should kind of hand on this in the chat, Mike. I, I personally, I, I love the Intercontinental title situation hitting into Mania. Mm-hmm. I love that they've essentially brought back the 24-7 role for the hardcore title since the, the two are, uh, unified. <laughs> kind of in a way, uh, right? <laughs> I love... I love the ladder, right? I love the, uh, I do like the ladder bass they're doing, but I'm realizing <clears throat> it just occurred to me this, like, it just occurred to me last night that Stardust is in the ladder match and Goldust is in the battle royal. And so now I kind of understand what, what, uh, Eamon was saying before about that. Cause I, I definitely would have preferred to see that match actually at Mania, but. Mm-hmm since they're kind of doing their own things with that. But the guys that are in each of those matches are awesome. As for the U.S. title, 
I don't know. I'm kind of I'm I'm very split on that because I think it's kind of cool that oh like over a little over t- like what eleven years after he won his first like you know his first WWE title belt at a WrestleMania by being Big Show, he's going back to that same belt. There's kind of a cool thing in that, but it's kind of like. If if he wins, is that really going to elevate the world or elevate the U.S. title, or is it just going to kind of mess everything up with uh, the uh, with with Rusev's push? Because mm-hmm. it's like I I I, kind of, I do kind of feel like if Rusev's going to lose the match, it probably should be at WrestleMania just so that's a big talking point. Right. But I can understand I, like where I, people are concerned that it's. This match is against Cena. I feel like it. I, I, it can't I happen can't, anywhere I, else but WrestleMania. Sorry, Mike. Yeah. I don't know. I, I the answer to, to both your questions, I think, is yes. Like, <laughs> I think it's going to elevate the hell out of the U.S. title, but I also think it's going to kind of kill Rusev. <laughs> like, okay. um, uh, so, but just imagine, just in case, what if Rusev won? Like, clean. No, where I'm does he go saying, from here you need saying. to bring in at oh, that point man. you'll need to bring in hulk hogan uh ronald and ronald reagan himself in order to uh beat R- rusev <gasps> <laughs> arnold schwarzenegger yes and a bald eagle. he's already in a bald eagle yes I mean, no no you need arnold schwarzenegger coming into wrestlemania riding a bald eagle to beat rusev after he's just beat john cena in order to even wait he's from austria yeah, but like, he's an just, American citizen, just though. say Rusev that's, that's wins. That's true. <laughs> he's been in America for forty years. I mean, come on. that's true. That's true. He's, he's a governor of California. That didn't governor go badly at all. <laughs> uh, Command <laughs> from. <laughs> um, how about Sylvester Stallone? Let's do that one. Um, anyways, well, that would be good too if Sylvester Stallone just showed up and punched him out. Just, just no, to... I'm telling you. You know who's gonna beat Rusev? Hmm. Medusa. Medusa. Hall of Famer Medusa. That's right. With the Mad, Mad USA, she's gonna run out. Red, red, red. I never knew Medusa st- stood for Made in USA. I had yeah. no idea until I read her Wikipedia like a couple weeks ago when she got inducted. Yeah, um, sword, sword. Hmm. Her name is Mad USA. Had no idea. <laughs> okay, I uh, now okay. She's gonna paint. She's gonna paint Rusev with the monster truck. Listen, uh, 1999 WCW did not take Figure the time to out. explain that to me. Okay, um, so some comments from the cl- uh, from the from the classroom um, from the chat. Eamon's uh, saying, "I don't see how making Daniel Bryan the lower level champion and having Cena take the belt off Rusev softens the blow." I presume to the Roman Reigns situation. Um, it gives them more stuff. You know, it's a variety show. If you don't like what's at the top of the card, you got all this other stuff going on, including, hey, John Cena got this thing if you're into that. Daniel Bryan got this thing uh, if you're into that. You know, by the way, is anybody else marked out when you saw, like, uh, uh, Ziggler and Daniel just punching each other in the face last night? Um, like, that was pretty That was pretty awesome. And like, I just want that. Just give me that. Um, and where's Sheamus, damn it? Um, uh, it's a shameful thing. He's gonna win that Andre the Giant Battle Royal. Likely, oh I agree. No, I agree. No, no. He's gonna I be agree. the last guy running out. He's going to bro kick Zack Ryder into the Big Show, <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to fly. Ball ball. I, I swear, to God, you know how Wade Barrett had that big bull hammer spree last night? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, no, which was amazing. That, picture that at WrestleMania with Sheamus and Boots. <laughs> He's going to kick every you. single person okay. in the fucking face. Okay, okay. That's a really sad part to me about this oh. icy title uh, uh, scrum that's happening here is we're going to see that nobody thinks that that uh, uh, Barrett is going to come out of this alive. No, right? no, no. I would love it. I would love it. Ever. I would love it if Barrett came out of it alive. I think the only one. There's, there's no. There's a the zero, only one, zero let's percent. be honest. The only one holding out for it is Matt Carlin's. Um and and I, 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 I think Fram. he's great, but it's it's, yeah, it's yeah. going to be a shame for him to drop that. Chip. If Honestly, he does, I don't think Barrett's yeah. the least likely person to win that match, though. No, no, no. I'd say I'd say it's Brian, Ziggler, um, Stardust, and then Barrett. I, I could live with that. Yeah, our truth is not. Our truth is not winning that match. There's a reason yeah. that during this entire feud, he's been on the one on commentary and not actually wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> Although, yeah. um, could you? I, I really hope Brian is 
safe in this ladder match. What, uh, a, what a swerve that would be if R Truth wins this, right? I mean, just <laughs> dude, John, just on can, the that means we get dance. more. He can do the dance from the uh, 3D de- Network crawl. There you go. <laughs> dun, dun. I'm, I'm down with it. If, if I see Sheamus kick people in the face and win a battle royal, if I see John Cena beat Rusev, if I see, if I, what was the other one I was going?